Hello, Tanker Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks, and today we're gonna have a video that's a little bit different, which you probably haven't really anticipated. I'm gonna call it Humming Stories because I think I have a few to tell, and they're quite interesting, at least some of them. And you know, me coming from time of Cold War. I mean, I remember that time pretty well. I was a small kid in Poland. A lot of shit was going on back then. I'm sure I can tell a few of those. But I'm gonna try to stay away from political ones, because these are the ones that are kind of, you know, on the heavy side. I really don't want to go to the heavy side. I want to kind of concentrate more on the funny side, right? So we'll focus on those and we'll see how it goes. So I would love to tell you the story, or a story, I'm not really a good storyteller, to be honest. What story can I tell you? I don't really know. Maybe one of those communist stories that I used to tell one of my friends. What the hell was that story? Oh yeah. It was about the, um, the soda water machine. So back in the day, in Poland in 1970s, late 1970s, early 1980s. I don't exactly remember the year. But back in the day in Poland, you couldn't buy soda on the street or anywhere in the store anyway. You couldn't buy a soda. Like it was just impossible to buy any type of a freaking soda. Well, you could buy like a Polish soda, right? But you couldn't buy anything from like Western European or American, you couldn't buy anything, like you couldn't find it. There were special stores where you could go in and use dollars. And in those stores, they actually had everything. So you could buy all kinds of chips from, you know, the West, clothing, Adidas, freaking Nike, all kinds of shit like that, right? And they would have Pepsi, Coke, you know, 7-Up, Sprite, all that shit. So, kids would just go to... And, and the place was called Pevex. That's what it was used to call. The store was called Pevex. And you would go there. And kids would just look through the window. Because you weren't allowed to come in. Without an adult. No way you could have come in on your own. Into Pevex. The only way you can get into that store would be with an adult. But for the most part, if you're just roaming around the city, you're not roaming around with adults. You're roaming around with other kids that are 8, you know, 9, 10 years old, or whatever. And yeah, back in the day when you were 10 years old, 9 years old, or 8 years old, you would be roaming by yourself. And no one would give a rat's ass, to be honest. So you could just watch from the outside. You would look through the window, and you'd be drooling, like drooling, your face would be drooling. Because the stuff that you see in there, you've never seen in your entire life. Right? <laughs> That's how screwed up it was back then. Everything was controlled by the government, right? So every food store would be controlled by the government. Every clothing store, every store in the country would be controlled by the government. 
and the government would be controlling what's allowed in a store and what's not. So, when there was delivery in a store, people would line up outside the store for hours to buy sneakers that are different size to what you actually need. If you need size 8 and you get in, you actually manage to get in to get sneakers. You get whatever pair that was available. You know why? Because if they're not good for you, they might be good for your father, your mother, your sister, or your brother. So you buy it anyway. And if it wasn't good enough for your brother or your sister, you gave it to your grandfather, your grandmother, or your cousins. And that's the way it worked back then, man. It was just f up times, to be honest. And there was no food in the stores because government would control what kind of food goes in which store and at what time. And in many cases, a lot of the food wouldn't even make it to the store because people that were running the store, which would be government employees, they would sell this food on the side to somebody else to make some extra money because the money that we were making at that time, well, it wasn't me, but, uh, you know, the adults, the money that adults were making at that time was nothing. Anyway, my story, what I was going to say, because I'm drifting here a little bit. The only way you could get soda on the street was there were these machines, you know, coin operated machines, machines that had CO2 injectors, you know, and water, right? And the CO2 would inject in water and you'd get a soda drink. And there was a, another nozzle. So there were two nozzles, one that would dispense water with CO2 or carbonated water. And there was another nozzle that would dispense just the juice, right? So you would put the cup under the juice nozzle first, you would press a button, it would dispense a little bit of juice right on the bottom of your cup, and then you would move it over to the second nozzle, you would press a button, and it would release carbonated water into the drink. But the kicker here, the kicker here is not, because mixing juice and soda water is quite common. I mean, I'm, I do it here almost, you know, every week. So it's not bad. But the kicker here is that <laughs> how, you, how you drink the f***ing thing when it mixes, right? So back in the day, we didn't have disposable cups. Like there were no disposable cups in Poland. Like there was no f***ing way you can get those. So what they did was they put a glass, the actual glass cup, into that f***ing machine, right? And that glass cup would be connected by a f chain <laughs> into the machine right so that you cannot steal it so you would have that glass cup with like a ring on the bottom and a chain that was attached to it right because people didn't have glasses in the house you just couldn't buy regular household items like that at a time anywhere or it was hard to get them anyway and in many cases shit would be just missing people just steal shit because there would be nothing available if you want to go to the store and buy a glass or a cup you can buy it people were making glasses or cups at that time and sold them privately it's just a ridiculous time but it would be so funny you'd be looking at this shit and it would be hooked up to a you know like a three foot chain and that band around the glass on the bottom was so tight that you couldn't take it off there was no way it was just like engraved in the glass you would basically have to bring a pair of bolt cutters to get that sucker off and people did that regardless <laughs> people would still steal those glasses which wasn't amazing to be honest uh, you go on you know you go in the machine you want to get yourself a drink and you don't have a f***ing cup there's no glass there's no nothing just the end of chain hanging around <laughs> oh man anyway so if you found one with the cup what you would do is you would put your drink you would mix your soda water with the juice you would drink it from that cup and then <laughs> after you drink it they had like a little fountain that was from the bottom so you would put this cup upside down on the bottom portion of that fountain and it would just spray it from the bottom and it would just clean the inside 
from hygiene standpoint, it was fucking horrendous. Because multiple people would be drinking from that cup, right? And I don't even want to think how that water was filtered. How was it filtered inside that unit at that time? I don't, I don't want to know, guys. I really don't want to know. So the whole concept itself is just, when you think about it, it's just like out of this world, right? I don't think in North America you guys have ever seen anything like that, to be honest. So that's one of the things I remember when I was a kid, when I was living in Poland. And that's one of the stories that I actually told one of my friends and he was laughing his head off. I don't think it's a funny story. It's just the entire concept is just ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. I mean, I know the guys wanted to be inventive at the time and shit. <laughs> so be it, but come on. Glass on a f***ing chain. No disposable cups. What can I tell you? At that point in time, there were no disposable cups. So they did what they could. Maybe I should give credit to the actual engineers that designed this genius looking machine. Anyway, that's my story from the past, boys and girls. Enjoy the rest of this replay. Cheerios! <laughs>